This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Now we can export a virtual machine while it's running, so we don't have to shut it down to export it. We can even export it from a snapshot while it's running. So if we want to get this virtual machine at a particular point in time, export it, then maybe import it somewhere else, or even on this Hyper-V machine, we can do that. So to export it where it's at right now at this particular moment, I can right click on it and go down to export, select my location where I want to save the files and click export. Now if I want to do it from a snapshot, so where it was at this particular checkpoint, also called snapshot, I can right click on that snapshot, go to export, go to browse and select where I want to put it. I'm going to put it in an exported folder. Go ahead and select it and click export. And we can go over here and see the status, see how long it's taking. And while this export is happening, the virtual machine's running. So it doesn't need to pause it or anything like that in order to export it. Okay, that export completed. So we can go take a look at it if we want. We put it on the E drive in our exported folder, and there it is. So now, if we want to import it, sometimes we take it over to another Hyper-V host or ship it off somewhere, or I could import it to this Hyper-V host. I'll right-click on it, go to Import Virtual Machine, click Next, select the folder where we exported it to, did it to my E drive, export it, and there it is, Desktop 100. Select that folder, click Next. There it is, click Next. Now do I want to register the virtual machine in place using existing unique ID, restore it using the existing ID, or copy it to create a new unique ID? This host already has that virtual machine on it, so I need to make a copy of it so that it creates a new unique ID. So I'll go ahead and click Next. And I'm going to want to store it in a different place than my default because I've got the existing one that's on here right now already in this location. So I'm going to select a different location. I've got a virtual machine temp folder here. I'll go ahead and put it in. Uh, put everything in that folder. And click Next. And I'm going to put the virtual disks with it in that temp folder. Click Next. And Finish. Okay, that completed, and you can see it comes up. You can see the state is saved. So because we exported a running virtual machine, this one is at the same exact spot where that snapshot was, and it was running when I took that snapshot, or also known as a checkpoint. So if I powered this on right now, most likely I'd have a name and IP conflict, so I would want to go in here to Settings, Good chance, uh, go into Network Adapter, and probably change this to Not Connected. So basically take it off the network, then power it up, and take a look at it, or do whatever I wanted to do with it. Maybe the whole goal was to clone that virtual machine. Well, it would be pretty much the same process. Bring it up, Not Connected, so I'd click OK, then power it on or start it. Probably run SysPrep on it give it a new name, a new ID, configure the network card, and I'd be good to go.